it comes to penetration testing APIs or doing back bounty research or cybersecurity research on APIs, there's this thing called mass assignment. And uh, this is actually a vulnerability that's often encountered, which is why I want to briefly touch upon it on this video. Many of you have been asking about this book called Hacking APIs, uh, knowing that I've been posting or I've been sharing insights as I study through it on my Twitter account. And as you can see, this is early access. So stop asking me to share you or to share with you this book because you're not doing any favor to the author of this book. The author, Corey Ball, who I'd like to thank given this, oppor given this opportunity that actually sent me or actually talked with the publishers to send me this early access of the book. So I believe that you, at this point in time, I believe the book is going to be published, officially published or launched later this year in the second half, June, July, sort of like. But in the meantime, I believe you can still buy the book on the publisher's website as part of the early access as well. So do check it out and uh, try and see if you can buy the book, which is one way to actually encourage the author, who is also a content creator like myself, actually encourage us to keep on doing content for those who actually consume content in cybersecurity because if every time that you want something you're actually trying to get a copyrighted version a a pirated version of it that's not actually doing any favor to any of us so yeah that's what i wanted to say now uh this is a really good book when it comes to getting a lot of insight for penetration testing apis now I'm going to actually do a little bit briefing on the contents here. Right now I am at attacking APIs. So I'm still from finishing uh, the book because I, I take sufficient time to actually study from the book, study the book as I go along. So I will be talking about mass assignment, but first, as you can see, there is this uh, Part 1, the state of API security, talks about how web application work, which is web application works, which is really important. We have the anatomy of web APIs, talks about what are REST APIs, what are other types of APIs, what is uh, GraphQL, what is the difference between GraphQL and other APIs, which is really important. Then it goes into this. Uh, this is a very hands-on book, which is really important for myself, who is someone who likes to learn hands-on. However, I do have to say that I have been skipping the lab setup part because uh, I'm not actually interested in setting Kali Linux or stuff like that. I don't do Kali Linux anymore. But it talks about how you can set up Kali Linux as well as an API vulnerable machine. So that's uh, something that I didn't go through. Now, in part three, attacking APIs talks about discovering how you discover APIs. It talks about passive and active discovery. It talks about reconnaissance, passive reconnaissance, active reconnaissance. It talks about OSINT and all that jazz. Then doing an endpoint analysis attacking API authentication, which is really important. I actually do a lot of this in my penetration tests. Then API fuzzing, exploiting, uh, exploiting mass assignment, which is something that I'm actually briefly going to touch upon in this video, and then API injection. Now, part for real world, API hacking, really important, evasive techniques and rate limiting testing, attacking GraphQL. A lot of the web applications out there today are powered by GraphQL, which is why knowing how to attack and defend this type of API is really important. Then it talks about breaches and bounties. So for those of you who are into bug bounties, I'm not actually very much into bug bounties these days because I'd rather have some stable source of income from my penetration tests than actually get into a lot of frustration and actually 
go ahead and do bug bounties even though i do bug bounties on private programs i get invited on private programs on a frequent basis but mostly I do them on Cinec. So that being said, let me actually delete everything that I've said here. And then we're actually going to go to the mass assignment and briefly talk about what I want to mention here. I believe it was page 61. Mass assignment, right. So this is what I want to briefly touch upon. When it comes to penetration testing, there is this thing called mass assignment, which actually occurs when API consumers, when an API consumer includes more parameters in their requests than the application intended. And the application adds these parameters to code variables or internal objects. Now, when it comes to API consumer over here, let me select a different pen so right now i am on my tablet when it comes to an api consumer it talks about someone who actually makes a request to a certain api now mass assignment is with respect to let's say for example you have imagine an api called to create an account with parameters user and password now in this case what you're actually going to send this is the data that's been sent in your request so you have the request headers you have the the headers the request headers and the data that's being sent and this is actually the data that's being sent in this case we're talking about most specifically a rest api while reading the api documentation regarding the account creation process suppose you discover that there is an additional key is admin that consumers can use to become administrators. You could use a tool like Postman or Burp Suite to add the attribute to a request and set the value to true. You don't need to actually set up Postman. You simply can use, you can simply use the Burp Suite, uh, whatever edition that you have, whether it's the community or the professional edition to actually add additional parameters to your request so whether you look into you read the api documentation and you discover that there are multiple ways or multiple keys or multiple attributes or mo multiple key value pairs for the user account and whenever you're actually using the api for intended purposes like from your web browser your web browser actually sends a request like this with the user and password to log you in, for example. Now, in, in this case, or to actually create an account, let's say that you're actually creating an account and we're talking about a post request. So if you're talking about a post request, you intercept the request and then you repeat the request knowing that there might be other additional parameters that you can add like for example in this case is admin equals to true you can set yourself as admin so really really important when it comes to penetration testing apis is to look into the documentation see whatever other parameters or whatever else you can add to your request and try to tamper with it most often than not there are web applications that are custom made and the developers did not actually do their homework thoroughly which is why you can find potential loopholes when it comes to the security of that particular application and lo and behold you can turn yourself into an administrator by simply adding an additional parameter to your request